มีบอบมีบอบอ่ะอ่ะอ่ะอ่ะเกรกุดเดบิสอ um roll the intro first yo what is up guys welcome to another video my name is smooth takona dili na kuya yo I have changed the name already uh, let me just make the camera a bit sa karan makita onen yo what's up maklaro ba? maklaro So anyway, kakatapos ko lang na mag live stream. I just finished live stream. Pagamay na balik ang camera, so you can see the whole picture. So again, guys, I'm gonna make another video, tutorial video. Uh, it's not actually tutorial. This is just an update. Sa kwaan USB capture card. Uh, I know I've said that there's no audio. That's the downside of the capture card. But apparently, no. <laughs> I think it was my fault. Hindi ko siya na set up ng maayos sa OBS. I forgot to kore kore ba to look into it. And there's no awal ang tutorial dito sa YouTube on how to do it sa audio. I mostly are old ones, old OBS ng mga application. So since this is a new version of OBS, I'ma teach you guys right now. Okay? So we have already. Plugged in the capture card device, and as you can see it here, atong, uh, let's make it big. This one here, this one, ML capture device USB. I've named my um, sources ML capture device USB. Uh, just click on properties, as you can see, and scroll down at the bottom. This is what I have. I forgot. Wala ako scroll down sa bottom. That's it. So there's uh, in the actual default in defaults, it's actually unchecked. The use custom audio device. It's unchecked, guys. So you might want to check that. See that. And an audio device tab will appear. It will appear right there. Click on it. Then you have three choices. It depends on your. Audio input, but right now we are on the USB capture card. So click on USB digital audio, and then click on capture audio only. If you don't want to hear the game, it's a headphones. But if you want to hear the game on the headphones, you can actually click output desktop audio. So let's try capture audio only. So, okay, that's capture audio only. Ano horizontal na siya? Non copyright. Good music. As an example, guys, ha? Ito. I'll use this as an example. So as you can see, wala tayong naririnig. We don't hear, but you can see the ML capture device. It's moving. The volume mixer is moving, but you can't hear anything. See, because the device, maririnig mo lang siya sa live stream. Okay, uh, if you are recording, you don't hear anything, and because it only says capture audio device only. So teka lang na wala. Properties again. So that was capture audio only. It only captures the audio. Derecho na sa stream mo. You can't hear the audio. Moving on to the next part. If you guys want to hear the in-game sound, go again to properties on your video capture card. Go to audio output mode and click output desktop audio. Para ayan. Ayan. Uh, let me just Ay, teka lang na off yung ano eh. Ayan. Naririnig na yung ano. Sounds. Yun yung sounds, guys. From the capture card. Ha? Huh? Sa capture card galing yun. Tapos, on mo na lang tong desktop audio. Tapos, sa live stream, maririnig na niya. Okay, so. 
that's the second method on mo na lang tong desktop audio but the thing is pag naka on yung desktop audio it will capture all the music that is playing on your pc i mean your desktop like if you're watching videos on facebook while in game uh, it will record the sound also so baka makapirate kayo sa live stream niyan yan so anyways guys that was the two methods and the third one i haven't used it yet because i don't have a microphone on my lightning to hdmi adapter so that's maybe that's for another video na one more important thing pala if you live streaming na if you are using desktop audio or the output audio is ano ito if you're using output desktop audio um there's a like two seconds delay on the audio or three seconds which is fine by the way because you can actually go to capture audio only and if it starts playing here as you can see you cannot hear the game huh? or you cannot hear the sounds on your phone through your headphone but it will actually output on output on your live stream so as you can see it's moving medyo malakas siya so again adjust lang your OBS and that's it um there's like a one second delay pa rin but like in the medyo obvious eh sa live stream so that's it guys um meron pa bang ibang sasabihin wala na siguro so that's it guys that's for the update on the capture card thank you for watching i hope you understand something on that ano tutorial so lalagyan ko na lang ng link sa baba skip nyo lang dun yung mga tutorials Yun. so if you're planning to buy one please buy on a seller that has good ratings and don't hesitate to chat with the seller na to send the right one or the correct one i have already posted the link on my last video on this capture card but i'll post it again on the description below so you can go to the store and look for the usb capture card so rate one to ten mm, a little above a little above seven seven out of ten guys for its price range yeah. for its price range i'm not comparing it to the other Elgato capture device na mas malakas talaga kasi ang mahal eh. But if you're a beginner streamer, I recommend this one and lalo na pag mobile gamer kayo. So, yun guys, <laughs> si Homer sumasayaw pa rin. So, yun guys, that's it. Thank you for watching. Smooth Taco is out. Peace out. Uh, ah, pagod na ako. <laughs> it's 3 a.m. na. Nakikita nyo naman oh. Sa clock. Hi na ako. Peace out, my lads.